Well, hello, Aquarius. Welcome to your readings at the round table. I'm Jennifer, and these are my lovely co hosts tonight um, Badger, Patches, Mouse is around here somewhere, and of course, Jasmine down here on her little dog couch. I always feel the need to introduce my team. Yeah. All right, Aquarius. How's everything going? <laughs> okay, this is a reading for September 26th through October 2nd, and um, this is a general reading, Aquarius, so if it resonates with you, that is great, that's wonderful. If it doesn't, that's okay, Try. we'll try again next time. Um, but make sure you check out your sun, moon, and rising so that you can get the full picture and all the pieces to the puzzle that makes up your week. All right. Ready to get this party started, Aquarius? Aquarius is always up for a party. Am I right? I know I'm right. <laughs> okay, let's see what we got for you. Okay, Aquarius, I've been talking about destiny um, for this week. I've been talking a lot about destiny. So, let's see what we got for your destiny's path. Okay, let's get some clarification. Well, Aquarius, I'm going to say, I, before I even get the clarification cards out, I'm going to go ahead and say that I feel like there's something in, that has happened to you in your past that, like, really, like, hurt you, really, like, I don't want to say strung you out because it's wrong, but it messed you up. Um, it did, like, leave, it, it left a thumbprint on you. And... And I feel like, and we all have that. I mean, we all have that. The thing is, it's really got you, like, guarded. It's really got you in a place where you're just like, mm, I'm going to think about that. Like, every time something happens, you're just like, wait, I'm going to think about that. Oh, my gosh. You just keep saying, you know, hang on, hang on, hang on. Like, I want to wait. really know if that's the answer here Aquarius okay what is holding Aquarius back what is holding Aquarius back Seven of Cups. Emotional decisions. Emotional decisions are holding you back. Okay, so let's talk about this. Let's see what we got here. So, I can't even tell, like, for some of you, and I do, I feel like I've said this before today for some other read, for some other readings, but I can't really tell, like, how far in the past this was for you. Because we are talking about your destiny. We're talking about your destiny's path here. Um, I can't tell how far in the past this was for you. I, it could be five months, five years, ten years. I'm just giving you that wide spectrum because that's exactly what this could be. But I do feel like you 
you thought you had like everything you wanted. You were like, I'm in. This is perfect. This is this is what I've been manifesting. This is exactly what I wanted. Um, and you did. You brought in a lot of prosperity for yourself. You were you were happy. You were in a place of like not just happiness, but like soul happiness. And it's not necessarily roman r romantic here. But it is about that, like, that connection that you felt like you were in it. You were like, I'm in it. I'm in it to win it. You know, and you're like, this is where I'm supposed to be. I'm so happy. And then you got the rug pulled out from under you is what happened. When that happens, and again, Aquarius, this happens to all of us. But, you know, Aquarius, you guys are so... You guys are so incredibly smart. So dealing sometimes with some of these emotional things is not, it's not the easiest and it's more challenging because you can't break it apart. And you also look at things from a very unique perspective, Aquarius. Again, nothing wrong with that. I kind of like that about Aquarius people, which is why I like hanging out with you guys. So, um, this is something that you're looking at from a different perspective, but you're guarded. You kept quiet about the situation. You're like, okay, I'm not going to raise too much. I'm not going to raise too much of a ruckus, but y'all stay the hell back. And I'm watching. Don't cross this line. And you are. You're watching. You're making sure nothing happens. Mm-hmm. So, when we move to where you are, you shifted a little. And you have. You've been doing a lot of work on yourself. You have shifted quite a bit. I mean, we got some good stuff here. Your, your instincts, solid. Your inner power, solid. Your personal power, your inner strength, solid. Um, intuition, yep, solid. And it's primarily because you really came, you went within. And what you did was you emotionally pulled back. That's why this emotional decision that you've got going on right now is so freaking hard. Mm-hmm. And because when we move over here to what's holding you back on your destiny's path, Aquarius... This emotional decision right here, it's, you're just like, I'm going to choose wrong again. I'm going to choose wrong again. That's not true. That's not true. The, and I have said this so many times because I feel like it's the same but different for a lot of our signs here. That we've made a, a, a wrong, not even a wrong decision. We've made a decision that has put us in a place where we don't want to be. And we go, oh my gosh, I messed up. Not necessarily. If that's the decision that you made and that's where you felt like, you know, you needed to go, then that's where you were meant to be at the time. That's, you're meant to have these choices. And you've actually risen to the occasion very well, but you're still not making the emotional decisions. You're still not making these emotional choices because you're just looking and going, ah, ah, they're all good choices. They're all good choices. They may lead you to, this may lead you to one, you know, one area of life that you didn't think that you would go to. This may lead you to a completely different area of life, but you can't sweat this out. You've got to just jump in there. And detaching from the situation emotionally, it, it can be a double-edged sword here. It's good, but it's bad. Because I've heard so many times from people saying, you need to detach from the outcome. Why do I want to do that? I'm invested in it. Why wouldn't I want to manifest what I truly want? So, yes, I think that you do need to have some detachment and say, okay, I would really like for this to happen this is what I'm manifesting. If it doesn't happen, show me what is supposed to happen or show me where I'm supposed to be. What, what area 
which one of these I'm supposed to be looking at. Which one of these little bowls am I turning over? So that's, that's something to think about because I do think detaching is important, but I don't think it's, I, I don't think it's the ultimate. So again, you'll hear a lot of um, spiritual teachers and metaphysical people say you need to detach from the situation. I agree with that to a certain point because if we get too emotionally invested in something, if we get too emotional about something, then we can't make a decision. We can't make an emotional decision. And I really don't think that we should be making a decision based on emotions, but sometimes that there is no other way. We have to listen to our personal power, our inner strength. We have to listen to that instinct, that gut instinct. We have to listen to our intuition. And sometimes that creates a, like an emotional response, right? The thing is, I think because you've been pulling back, because you've been detaching, because you've been, I almost feel like you've just been spending a lot of time doing soul searching, which again is why we see the transformation, why we see like the, you know, shedding of the old and creating like the new. She came out of this cocoon and it has an imprint on it of what she used to be. And she's letting it go. You need to let go of what you used to be. This did look really good on the surface. It looked really good on paper. It was not for my friend Aquarius. Whether this is a career, a, a, like a relationship, a partnership of some kind, a business venture, working in the community, I don't know. But whatever it is, you need to let it go. You need to shed that. And actually, I feel like you're in the process of doing that because of your instincts, because of your inner strength, and because you have pulled back. Now, because you've detached and you have pulled back in the past, doing this is going to open up a whole new can of worms. It's going to open up a whole new thing of um, emotions, different kinds of emotions. Mm-hmm. Because you're going into a place that you haven't been before, Aquarius. This is a transformation. So when you're moving forward, when you're moving forward, just understand that we are going to find, we are going to find some things on our path that are a bit, um, they are a bit deceptive, but they're not it's not bad. It's, um, it, they are a bit deceptive, but it, it doesn't have to, it, it doesn't have to ruin you. And in fact, I feel like this right here, because you've been through all of this and because you are so guarded, I feel like you're going to see right through this. So whoever this is that presents themselves to you and you're just like, oh, I don't like this. Mm -mm. Not what I was expecting. This is not, this is not happy. This is, is, this is superficial to you now. Then... And even before this happened, it would have been devastating. This is superficial to you now. So whatever's coming in, you're going to be able to see. And the thing is, you've rebuilt yourself and you are building a firmer, solid foundation in your new life. That's important because this is all about divine wisdom. It's about enlightenment. It's about um, your connection to the universe. Um, It's about knowing your place in the world. <laughs> yes. It's about knowing who you are, Aquarius. And this I love. I love to see this. How amazing. And this is your destiny's path. 
this again is going to take a while because it took a while to come from here to where you are now. It's going to take another little while to come here, but I just want to tell you how solidly you're building your future and your connection to spirit. God dang, you guys rock the casbah. Ha! We need to invite all you Aquarius people over for a party. Okay, so King of Wands. So typically the King of Wands is like a communicator. He's a hard worker. Um, and I do feel like that's you. I feel like you are a very hard worker. But the thing is when whatever this happened that like interrupted, let's just say interrupted, it interrupted you. And that was a that was a hard one for you to Yeah, that was a hard one for you to accept. And it was even harder for you to start communicating again. Um, communicating for you during this period was a little challenging. It was very hard because you were dealing with that pain and you didn't want to you didn't want to recognize it and you sure as hell were not going to share it with anybody else, right? So that's when um, I think you started saying, okay, this is now what I need. And when you started saying that, it really has changed like what, how you have put things together. This is, to me, it's not always a thief. I've had this card for somebody else today. I cannot remember who it was. Sorry. Um, it's been a busy day. This could have even been for one of my clients and not for a reading for readings at the round table. <laughs> um, but the thing is, this is, he's taking what he needs. Some people say this is a thief card. Sometimes I do see that. I'll be honest with you. Sometimes I do see that with this card that it's like this guy is stealing. But... He's taking what he needs and he's leaving the rest. Keep that in mind. You need to take what you need and leave the rest for somebody else. You're not trying to be greedy. You're just like, nope, this is what I need. Thank you so much for playing. Bye-bye. You know, and you are ready to move on. And you're doing it very well. This emotional new beginning that's coming for you is going to be just really wonderful because... It's going to help you with some of these emotional decisions that you have been avoiding. And you know you've been avoiding them. But this is definitely going to help you. This, building this new foundation for yourself, is going to be really, really incredible for you. Because you start strengthening your connection to spirit. You start really listening to your intuition. You start really being aware of like what's going on you're getting in that divine wisdom and that is bringing in just a ton of success what success yeah i think this is going to be great i mean and it's it's rewarding is what it is <gasps> well for pete's sake All right, I just like flipped over, I don't know, half the deck of 50. Okay, so this is really great. The spider. Weaving the web of creation. But you know I'm going to have to put my glasses on to see the rest of it. All right, Moon. Let's give Aquarius some good advice here. What advice do I have for, okay, two cards. Conclusions are within reach. Believe in the impossible. Okay. I like this. These cards are just jumping, jumping. <laughs> I like Beyonce. Jumping, jump. Sorry. I'm not going to sing. I don't want people to tune out on this channel. It's a new channel. Wow. Okay, Mary Magdalene. And I had such a good reception of the essential oils cards that I used last week. I'm using them again this week. See what's going on.
these are really hard to shuffle because there's so many and they're very big but they're so beautiful I just can't not yeah okay let's see what we can get what kind of good advice can we get for Aquarius cinnamon <laughs> okay where's my glasses come on all right, let's start with these moons. Conclusions are within reach. Full moon eclipse. And the blue moon, believe in the impossible. Can you believe that there wasn't a blue moon this year? 2022 did not have a blue moon. Believe in the impossible. Trust. Faith. Mm-hmm. And conclusions are within reach. You're going to make the decisions. You're going to be able to make these decisions. Oh, Mary Magdalene. You know, she's one of my favorites. Teacher awakens. You have something important to share. Follow the inner call. Don't let anything stop you. God dang, these are just so perfect. Wow. Wish I could have planned this. Okay, spider, weaving, weaving the web of creation. Spider is the balance of the past and the future. Shut up. Shut up. Okay, sorry. I'm going to read that again. <laughs> I don't want to mess up the whole thing. Spider is the balance of the past and the future, gentleness and strength, and masculine and feminine. Spiral to the center of your own world and weave your own destiny. <gasps> Grandmother Spider wove the web of the universe. Listen to her energy for links to your creativity through your dream time. Mm. Okay, now your essential oil card is cinnamon. And I just want to point out before I say this. This does say affirmation, and there's a reason for that. The lady that wrote these cards, um, she does a lot of work with doTERRA, the essential oil company, and she wrote this as an affirmation. We're forming this, and we're moving it forward. Love it. Okay, cinnamon, emotional aspects. This releases jealousy, sexual repression, and the need to control. It instills self-acceptance, healthy sexual expression, and intimacy. Creates inner peace and sexual healing from past experiences and a healthier sexual connection. Creates body acceptance. Centering thought. I open my heart to healing in all aspects of my sexuality. I love and accept my body and embrace all of it. All aspects of it. Sorry. The affirmation is, why is it so easy for me to embrace my sexuality? And the chakras are the sacral and the throat. So maybe this does have to do with something with romance. <laughs> it still very well could be a career. I mean, it still could be a career. And the intimacy that people perceive with sex could be that, like, that connection with your job, with your coworkers, with what you're doing for a living. It could be just that. It could be the connection. Hmm. I do love that. But intimacy, because when people say, I dream that I had sex with one of my parents, and there's, they're adults, and there's nothing, you know, there's been no shady stuff going on between them and their parents, and it freaks them out, I'm like, no, we equate sex with intimacy, we equate sex with, with that. What are you seeking as an intimate relationship with your, your family? Have a heart to heart. Have a heart to heart with yourself, Aquarius. <laughs> God, I am so funny, really. 
Um, thank you so much for watching Aquarius. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful week for September the 26th through October 2nd, the day that Mercury goes direct. You guys have a wonderful week. Don't forget to check out your monthly numerology on this channel and check out some of my other lovely shows on my other channel, Metaphysical Roundtable. Thanks again, and you guys get out there and make your magic. Bye.